everyone and welcome to Friday's edition of Reptile News. I took the day off yesterday. Um, funny thing happened, you know, I was really watching after getting everyone's comments and concerns about going five days a week. I was really watching all the statistics and everything and they dropped way off on those off days. Now I'm not sure if that's because a lot of people just didn't get the word, didn't get the message and they weren't go. I can't assume that people go to YouTube just to watch Daily Reptile News, but I don't know if it's because of that or if it's just because nobody wants to see it so much so um, anyway took the day off yesterday not sure how I'll continue next week um definitely the Monday Wednesday Friday not sure if I'll fill in those other two days got a lot to think about I was also thinking about going on vacation so anyway let's get into the news I did have your uh, douchebag of the day all ready to go and that of course was Raymond Hoser yes he's a again but his license was revoked you can no longer educate people in public about reptiles so I'm happy I know you're happy don't lie I know you're happy um hopefully you know it, it's uh, it's one of those really hard calls. Raymond does plan on appealing the decision to have his licenses revoked, and um, hopefully they stick to his word. You know, there's a, a difference between "Oops, I made a mistake" and "Oh my God, what did you do?" There, there's a big difference between those two, and he was the uh, latter of that. So I have no doubt he'll uh, call me a troll once again. But um, anyway, moving on to our real douchebag of the day, which is Jill Lutgins, Legend, whatever. Anyway, her and her boyfriend of four months were apparently fighting over him supposedly flirting with some people at a party or whatever on the way home and everything kept on escalating when she eventually um, grabbed his pet bearded dragon and uh, killed it with a butcher knife so um, she also apparently I believe it was a pair of scissors she used to stab him smacked him around a little bit he called police police did arrest her and she is currently serving time in county jail so Jill thank you for being our douchebag at of the day now if you didn't see I, I, I posted a message on Facebook and on Google Plus uh, several times yesterday about you know sending in some uh, um, reptile pictures for people to drool over now what I'm looking for I'm looking for just some awesome stuff if you got pictures you have to own them send in a release with them so I can use them on the show and um, we want to show them to people uh, you know get some uh, mouths watering and some knees knocking several of them were sent in and I, I was going through uh, wondering which one to show but I thought what the hell I'm gonna show all three of them so here's all three of them and uh, yeah okay there we go um, of course if you want to see the uh, bigger pictures that of course if you want to see the bigger pictures you can go to dailyreptilenews.com to see those and down in the description are the links to all of the websites the the people that submitted those pictures thank you very much if you want your picture on here and your link in the description then um, go ahead and send it with a release to use it with the contact information listed on the website and last but not least this is not a reptile story it mentioned reptiles but it's more towards other domesticated animals but it was so awesome that I saw this um, I had to bring it up. Now a developer in Orange County apparently has said that they are no longer going to lease stores to people who plan on selling dogs and cats out of the stores. They say birds, fish, and reptiles are not included. Um, apparently still okay, but people that plan on selling dogs and cats out of uh, pet stores will no longer be uh, leased that property from Irving Co. in Orange County effective immediately. So that's, um, that's awesome news. If you want a dog or a cat, there's plenty of them at your local shelter to go and adopt. So that has been all your news for this Friday. Hey, don't forget to send those pictures in if you'd like to read any more of these stories that links right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other and we'll see you Monday maybe <laughs>